drowning in a sea of bills? Then it's time to play Death. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. And now, let's meet today's contestant. Hi, my name is Paul, and I'm in debt because a bad career decision set back my finances. My name's Gina, and I'm in debt because I went crazy buying furniture with my credit card. I'm Jeff, and I'm in debt because I bought a really expensive computer. And now, starting at host, the proud Prince of Credit, the Duke of Debt, Wayne Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. And welcome to our show. Well, the country's in debt, you're probably in debt, but most importantly, our three players, Paul, Dina, and Jeff, have come to us today with their real-life debt, and one of them just might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of this show. Now, before we get going, let's make things fair. We're going to even you all out to the average debt amount of the day. And your average debt, players, is $6,587. You've been charging a lot. Our opening question is worth one big dollar. Okay? And whoever answers that question also will win the right to select our first category. Here's your question. I'm the actor who romanced Julia Roberts in the embarrassing Ready to Wear before lensing my own masterpiece, Dead Man Walking. Dina. It's Tim Robbins. Tim right? Robbins is correct, yes. You have ten dimes you didn't have a few seconds ago. <laughs> Let's look at today's categories for general debt. Things you might find in Brando's couch. Star Search. Once, twice, three times a movie. Female Dick. And finally, Professor Cato Kalin's presidential quiz. And there they are. Now, this is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least dead at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... You've been watching, and that's good. Okay, select our very first category, Dina. I think I'll go with Professor Cato Kalin's presidential quiz. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> Dina, this is the most difficult category on today's board in the opinion of our producers, and because of that, the value of each question in this category is doubled, okay? So for a minus $100 off your debt players, filled with misinformation, these are questions a guy like Cato might ask about U.S. presidents. I was the president a couple of terms after George Washington, and I share my last name with that short dude who's married to Wheezy. Paul. It'd be Jefferson. Yes, Thomas Jefferson. Minus $100 off your debt. For minus $200, I'm the fourth president, and my wife makes those tasty snack cakes that Snoopy endorses. Dina. That'd be Madison. Yes, James Madison. Dolly Madison was his wife. Again, the category, Professor Cato Kalin's presidential quiz. I repeat that because I'd just love to say it. For minus $300, name for the president of the Delta Fraternity and Animal House. I'm the 31st president whose stock fell on that great stock market day, October 29, 1929. Jeff Hoover. Yes, Herbert Hoover. $300 off your debt. Professor Cato Kalin's presidential quiz. Question four for minus $400. I'm president number 11, who might have invented that weird Lawrence Welch accordion music and multicolored dots. Paul? You're a Pope. Yes, like Pope's up dots. Pope's up. James K. Pope. <clears throat> Final question in the category, Professor Cato Kalin's presidential quiz for $500 off your debt. After I named the high school in the wonder years after me, I voted myself 25th president. <laughs> Nobody got that. William McKinley, McKinley High School. <laughs> okay, now, Paul, since you're the last person to answer correctly, you get to select our next category. Uh, let's go with things you might find in Brando's couch. We have four left, and you've selected things you might find in Brando's couch. These are questions about snacks that Marlon Brando might eat. <laughs> For minus 50 off your debt, players, Nestle makes me, Bart Simpson stars in my ads, and Brando probably has seven or eight bars of me stashed in his Lazy Boy. Paul? You'd be a Butterfinger. You got it. $50, the value on that one. For minus 100, I'm the Kellogg cereal fronted by Snap, Crackle, and Pop that Brando might bake into squares when he feels like treating himself to a snack. Paul. Rice Krispies. Yes. 
for a minus 150. I'm the snack puff whose mascot Chester smiles a cheesy grin as Brando's fingers turn orange while eating me. Paul. Cheeto. Cheeto. Yes. You're doing well. For minus 200 players. I'm the Ben and Jerry's banana flavored ice cream that could describe Brando if he ever played the role of King Kong. Paul. Donkey Monkey? That's it. <laughs> Donkey Monkey. Things you might find in Brando's couch. Final question was minus 250. In Streetcar, Brando wanted Stella. I'm the Stella division of Nabisco that makes Grissini style breadsticks. Yes. Stella Doro? Yes. Stella Doro. $250 of value on that. Okay, we have three categories left. Jeff, select, please. Wink, let's try once, twice, three times a movie. Okay, this category is about famous movie trilogy. Once, twice, three times a movie. Of the films in the Star Wars trilogy, I'm the one that ended with an Ewok version of Dance Fever. Dina. That would be Return of the Jedi, Wink. Yes, for minus 50 off your job. Very well. Again, once, twice, three times a movie for minus 100. I'm the series of unshaven cop flicks that Bruce Willis had appeared in as many times as he's had kids with Denise. Paul. Die Hard. Yes, Die Hard. $100 off your debt for that. Once, twice, three times a movie. Third question, worth a minus 150. I'm the buddy cop series that had Danny Glover saying, I'm too old for this, please, to Mel Gibson. Dina. That would be Lethal Weapon. I won't ask you for the, for the word. <laughs> lethal Weapon, right. For a minus 200, I'm the third installment of the trilogy that featured Ripper Phoenix in one of his last crusades. Dina. That would be Indiana Jones. And the last crusade. Yes! <laughs> for minus 200. Had to have the whole title. Final question in that category. For minus 250. Daddy's first two godfathers murdered the competition, but my bad reviews in three may be why I got killed at the box office. Dina. Francis Ford Coppola. No, I'm oh. sorry. Jeff. Al Pacino. Nope. Paul. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We were looking for Sofia Coppola. Sophia Coppola. All right. Dina, select the next category, please. Let's go with female dicks, Wink. Female dicks. This category about female detectives. Female detectives. During the 1978 TV season, I'm author Carolyn Keene's teenage super sleuth who shared a time slot with Frank and Joe Hardy. Yes. Nancy Drew. Yes. For minus $100, in the adventure series Heart to Heart, I'm the actress who played writer and amateur sleuth Jennifer Hart. Yes, Stephanie Powers. Yes. For minus 150 on female dicks, I'm family affair actress Sebastian's last name and the murder she wrote code where Jessica Fletcher's friends died faster than an Arsenio Hall sitcom. Yes, Cabot. Yes, Cabot Cole. For minus 200, female dicks. My daddy, Ephraim, starred in the FBI, and I carried on the family tradition as Detective Laura Holt on Remington Steel. Paul. Stephanie Zimmerman. Yes, Stephanie Zimmerman. One more in that category, female dick, for minus 250. I'm the 1996 Nickelodeon flick where Michelle Trachtenberg scratches around Rosie O'Donnell for clues, but never finds out why Rosie's successful. <laughs> Paul, just in time. Harriet the Spy. Yes, just under the wire. Harriet the Spy. Good for 250. Okay, we won't have time for that final category. That's the end of general debt, and I'm sorry to say that you, Dina, the lady has the highest score, and unfortunately, in our game debt, that means you're eliminated, but you will not go home empty-handed. Judy, what do we have for Dina? Well, Dina, to help you get back on the road financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. Go make a credit card payment. We'll be back in a moment to see Paul and Jeff, the two guys, going to battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debts right after this commercial break. And now, let's get deeper into debt with Wink Martindale. Welcome back, everybody. We're down to two players now. Paul, who's in debt because he made a bad career decision that set back his financial situation. He's in the lead with minus $5,037. Jeff who's in debt because he bought a computer when he shouldn't, has minus $5,987. Now, at the end of this round, the player with the least debt remaining will have a chance to have us pay off their entire debt. But first, we're going to play gambling debt. Now, in this round, I'm going to show you a category, and then you'll wager between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. Category values naturally increase as we go along. $300 will be at stake on the first category, which is men who live together. These questions are about famous male roommates. Now, since you're behind Jeff, we'll let you start the bidding. I can answer three. Paul? 
Come over for him. Four? Yep, you want to make it five or call it? Prove it! <laughs> All right, Jeff says call, prove it. You need four out of five for the $300 off your debt. <clears throat> One, we're Sesame Street's longtime companions who were named for the cab driver and the cop from It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> That's Bert and Ernie, oh. or Ernie and Bert. All right, you need all four of these for the money. Men who live together. I'm the 70s sitcom where a guy named Lenny Kuznowski had Lone Wolf on his jacket, but he actually lived with Andrew Squigman. That would be Laverne and Shirley. Yes, that's one. You need three more for the money. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm the rotund actor who played a guy named The Skipper and slept in the same hut as Gilligan on the island. Alan Hale, Jr. That's it. That's two. Two more to go. I'm the 1996 NBC sitcom starring Rumi's Juan E.R. Eldard and Rob the Copy Guy Schneider. You are men behaving badly. Right. One more to go and you get the money. I'm the Neil Simon play that spawned an African-American TV version starring Ron Glass and Demond Wilson. The Odd Couple? Yes, The Odd Couple. $300 off your debt. Just in under the wire. Okay, let's move on to our next category. It's minus $400 in value. Ring around the roses. These questions are all about things with rose in their name. Paul, start the bidding. I can name three. Jeff? I can name four. Paul? Paul, prove it. Paul says prove it. <laughs> Jeff, question one. I'm the 1989 comedy that stars Michael Douglas as an embattled spouse who relieves himself on Kathleen Turner's fish. The War of the Roses. Yes. That's one, three more. In the 1941 Orson Welles classic, Citizen Kane, I'm the name of Kane Sled, which if you haven't seen the movie, just ruined the ending. Rosebud. Yes, two to go. I'm the colorful actress who portrayed the naive dingbat Rose Nyland on the sitcom The Golden Girl. <laughs> Betty White, Betty White. Two left, you need them both for the money. Ring around the roses. In the 1960s sitcom, The Dick Van Dyke Show, I played the eternally single TV writer, Sally Rogers. Rose Marie. Yes. That's three. One more to go. I'm the 1984 Woody Allen comedy where the woodster is an agent who gets involved with the mafia and Mia Farrow. Broadway Danny Rose. You got it. $400 off your debt. So let's move on to our third category. Worth minus $500. Famous characters with eye patches. Jeff, start the bidding. I can name two. Paul? I'll go for three. Yes? Four. I'll go Paul? for four. Well, prove it. Paul says prove it, Jeff, for $500 off your debt. One, nicknamed Fish Star, I'm the 1995 flick where Dennis Hopper kept an evil eye patch on Gil Boy Kevin Costner. Waterworld? Yes. <laughs> Number two. I'm the 1996 film sequel to Escape from New York where Kurt Russell wore a patch and played a one-eyed snake. Escape from L.A. Yes. That's two. Two to go. I sported an eye patch, but no tattoos when I played the villain Khan in Star Trek II. Ricardo Montalban. That's three. The famous characters with eye patches, you need one more for the money. I'm the Michael Caine comedy where an eye patch Steve Martin kept a cork on a fork to avoid poking out his other eye. That's hey. dirty, rotten scoundrel. Dirty, rotten scoundrel. One yeah. left, you need this one for the money. I'm the daytime drama that featured an eye patch wearing character creatively named Patch. Days of Alive? Yes! For $500 off your debt. Well done. This is our $750 category, which is, I guess, starred on Scooby Doo. Jeff, start the bidding. Uh, I can name four. Paul, well, he knows a lot about Scooby Doo. But Paul says you got it. Four out of five will knock $750 off your debt. I'm the creepy TV family that hired Scooby's gang to watch over Pugsley and Wednesday's Ookie Mansion. The Adams Family. That's one. As the mystery of the spooky fog unfurled, I'm the former fight who enlisted the Mystery Machine Gang. Don not Yes. Two to go. I'm Curly Neal's uptown basketball team that helped Scooby solve the puzzle of a pirate ship. The Harlem Globetrotters. That's three. I guess start on Scooby-Doo. Final question if you get this. Those meddling kids are no Hogan family. I'm the Wheat Sand actress who guest starred with the Scoopster on a haunted movie set. Sandy Duncan. You have the money. $750 off your debt. Final category. This determines the winner of the game. It's valued at 1,500 big ones. Chevy chasing a career. These are questions about moments that are low riders in Chevy Chase's career. Jeff, start the bidding. 
I can name... I can name three. Paul. I can name four. Jeff. Prove it. He says prove it. Paul, if you can answer four out of five on Chevy chasing a career, the game is yours. Anything short of four, Jeff's the winner. One. I'm the 1997 vacation sequel where the Chev man rolled the dice and crapped out at theaters. Las Vegas vacation. Is that acceptable? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It has to be the exact title. The exact title is Vegas Vacation, not Las Vegas Vacation. Four left. You need all four to win the game. I'm the 1988 unfunny follow-up to the 1980 film where Chevaroni reprises his role as blood golfer Ty Webb. Caddy Shack 2. That's correct. Yes. <clears throat> I'm the Chase Meister's 1992 film with Daryl Hannah that disappeared in theaters faster than Chevy's hair. <laughs> Memoirs of an Invisible Man. Jeff has won the game. <laughs> so congratulations to you, Jeff. That means you're going on to the final round with a chance to have us pay off your entire debt amount. And you, Paul, will be going home with it. Well, sorry, Paul, we're not going to pay off your bill, but we are going to give you one of our debt piggy banks, along with a $500 savings bond. Don't spend it all in one place. We'll be right back to see if Jeff can move out of the red and into the black right after this commercial timeout. help in sight. If you'd like to be a contestant on debt and you live in the L.A. area, call 213-530-2300. Well, and we're back to see if Jeff can get out of debt with the help of our main man, Wink. Thank you, Julie. Welcome back to debt, everybody. Well, Jeff, who's in debt because he bought a lousy computer, played the first two rounds, eliminated his opponents, and knocked $3,750 off his debt. And now you've earned the right, Jeff, to have us pay off your entire original debt of $6,397. It's a round that we very appropriately call Get Out of Debt. If you can answer 10 of these questions in 60 seconds, your debt of $6,397 will be completely eradicated. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Your category is the next speed round. These questions are all about people with an MC or an MAC in their name. In other words, a Mac or a Mac in their name, okay? Let's set your expiration date at 60 seconds, and your time starts now. I'm the Playboy Playmate who co-hosted MTV's Singled Out. Al McPherson? No. I introduce Johnny almost every night on The Tonight Show. And McMahon? Yes. I'm the hot-headed tennis champ who bagged four years John McEnroe? Yes. I'm the female vocalist who sang Don't Stop with Fleetwood Mac. Christine McPhee? Yes. I'm the famous kid song, I'm the guy who had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, McDonald. Yes. I'm the Aussie supermodel actress who was in the movie If Lucy Fell. Al McPherson. Yes, that's right. I'm the former Beatle who hit number one. Paul McCartney. I... Yes. I'm the Brit who starred in Oh Lucky Man, and I'm a regular on TV's Pearl. Uh, Malcolm McDowell. Yes, thanks to Gone with the Wind, I was the first African-American to win an Oscar. Patty McDaniel. Yes, I played Julie on One Day at a Time. Pat. I won the 1996 Oscar for Best Actress. Uh, Pat. I'm the child star who was left home alone in the highest grossing... Macaulay Culkin. Yes. I'm the Cincinnati kid who starred in The Great Escape in Bush. Pass. I played the swab spy John Steed on TV's The Avengers. Oh. Uh, oh. Almost, but not quite. Patrick McNee. Patrick McNee was the last one. The Playboy Playmate on Singled Out, Jenny McCarthy. Mackenzie Phillips, One Day at a Time. The 1996 Oscar for Best Actress, Frances McDormand. Steve McQueen was in Bullet and The Great Escape. Well, Jeff, you didn't make it down to zero, but all is not lost. In the first two rounds, you reduced your debt by $3,750, and that's yours to keep. Unless, of course, you decide to bet your debt. When we selected you to be a player on debt, you told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was the TV show Columbo. So before the show, we prepared one question on the TV show Columbo, and if you can answer this question correctly, we'll double your current total of $3,750. However... You know the rule, if you go for it and miss it, you'll be back $6,397 in the hole. So you can walk away with what you've won or risk it all. We'll be back to see what you, Jeff, decide to do right after we take this commercial break. It's time for another big money moment on Jeff. Welcome back to Dead, everybody. Well, here we are with Jeff. You've had some time to think it over, Jeff. If you go for it, this question about the TV show Columbo, 
will be worth $7,500. What do you want to do? You want to risk it all or walk away with what you've won so far? Wink. I'm going to go for it. He's going to go for it. Go for it. You'll have 10 seconds to give me the answer once I've asked the question. And Jeff, obviously we all hope you win. The TV show Columbo, and the question is, in the long-running series Columbo, I'm the name of Lieutenant Columbo's dog. Dog. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, Jeff. That's all the time we have left. We'll be back next time with three more big spenders like Jeff, and we'll do our best to help get them out of... Yes! Bye, everybody. Promotional consideration provided by DeLonghi's fine quality air cream convection toaster oven. Superior performance of convection cooking in a compact countertop. High-tech Italian design that makes cooking a joy. From DeLonghi. A gift certificate for your selection of unique, handcrafted Black Hills gold jewelry. Made in the Black Hills of South Dakota by Coleman of Rapid City. Watch Intimate Portrait five nights a week. Sally Fields, from a bubbly teenage TV star to a major Oscar-winning film actress, she's stolen America's heart. It's her story on Intimate Portrait, next.